Today we are going to be drawing Iron Man. Doesn't he look mean? And it's going to be really good fun. So we're going to start, as per usual, with our sketch lines on the paper so that we know where we're going when we do the thick line drawing. And as you can see, we're just drawing the shape of a face. And there we go, we've got a line going down one way and crossing it the other. And now we're going to start with the thick pen. And we'll just go around that initial line we made and we're going to do the detail on the head of Iron Man. Here it is, fantastic. And we're just going to do a line across there to show where the helmet ends. And another there, parallel. And one at the bottom of his neck. And it is useful to use a ruler here, as you can see, so you get those really straight, strong lines. And yeah, if you do need to pause the video because this is going too fast, please do, so you've got a chance to catch up. And now where we've drawn those straight lines with the ruler, we're going to put on our nice thick lines. There we go. And can you see the shapes we're forming? joining up to those sketch lines. Quite precise. Two little lines there. And now we'll bring round the rest of the face. We've got the detail here on the chin. And now we can finish off the shape of the face there. Lovely. A bit of detail there on the cheek. And the ear of Iron Man, very important. A little bit of detail on that as well. And just some very simple lines there on the top. And this gives the texture and shows the reflection on Iron Man. And there we go, a bit of detail on the neck. And we're just going to bring up this line here and just colour it in. And the same thing on the other side. And now just these two lines on either side of Iron Man's face. And one very simple line there where we've put our pencil sketch line and another parallel to it. And underneath that first line, we can draw the detail of the eyes. And of course, now we can rub out our sketch lines. And as I said before, you can put as many sketch lines as you want because they won't be there at the end. Now we're going to color in these chosen bits here. Obviously, this is sped up. You don't have to do it as fast as this. Take your time. It's worth it in the end. There you can see where we've added all of those shadow lines and a little bit more definition. really gives the mask that 3D effect. There we go, we're going to follow that line on the forehead around. Make a nice thick line. And in the eye sockets as well. Excellent. That's looking really good. I've decided to put a bit more definition here as well. And you can really take your time over this. And now, of course, we get to colour him in, which is really good fun. 
And there he is, brilliant. Today we are going to be drawing this fantastic Mickey Mouse. Doesn't he look fab? And we're going to start doing pencil lines to help us out later on. And we're going to start here with a big circle. There we go. This is to give us a rough idea for drawing on the pen later. And then we're going to draw one circle on either side of this big circle. And you might be able to guess these are Mickey Mouse's ears. So there you can see where they go. Now I'm drawing a line roughly in the centre but a bit lower and one that goes roughly down the middle with a bit of a swerve on it and this helps me know where to put his nose. Bit of detail above that and from that I then know where to put the eyes. And these are these quite long ovals. And we've got his eyebrows there. Which of course then help us draw the shape of the face. You can see how it's coming together now, can't you? And we'll bring those round to make those lovely cheeks. And then we're going to draw the head shape, which is just one big line around the top. And next, the shape of the ears. There we go, lovely. And then we're going to put a little bit of detail on the cheeks, which of course shows us where to put the smile. And then we've got this lovely smiley shape underneath. He's a happy chappy. And those two hills in there make the tongue. We're going to pop a little bit of a pointy chin under there. And there you go, we've got the main shape. Now we're going to add the detail, those sort of zany pupils. And we'll colour those in black. Do a nice thick outline on the eyes. And you might find yourself that you want to change the shape of things a bit. So feel free to do that. Particularly handy with things we're going to colour in black. Because you can't tell if you change the shape a bit. There we go. But of course, you, all this needs practice. So you might just need to try it a few times. There we go. And we're going to colour in the mouth and then the rest of Mickey Mouse. Today we are going to be drawing Patrick and doesn't he look spectacular? It's going to be really good fun. So we're going to start off doing this line right down here. And then we're bringing it round and his body is a sort of teardrop shape. So keep that in mind. Then we're adding these framework lines just to show us where the other bits of the picture are going to go. And then once we've got those lines, we know where to put the eyes. 
So we're going to add these two circles very close to each other. And now, just to give us a rough idea of where the head goes, I'm adding in that line. And that's going to follow on down underneath the eye. So I'm drawing that out. Now I'm adding in Patrick's arm. Before I do the line down. And then the arm on the other side, which is behind his body. So I can do that one after I've done the line of the body. And then we follow that sweeping line down. And we're going to add these two lovely little legs here. There we go. And then we're adding the detail of his clothes, which is just that simple line across there. And now we're happy with the shape, we can rub out those lines that helped us plan out where we were going to put everything. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to add the features, and this is quite simple for Patrick, he's got this big smile, so I'm just sketching that in first, and when I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to put a bolder line on it, and of course we add that little line to show that he's really grinning, adding a bit of detail inside the mouth, which is these two hill shapes, which are the tongue. Now for the pupils, just two small black circles. And of course a little bit of detail for these sort of eyebrow things. And now we're going to start rubbing out a bit more because we're happy with the shape we've got. So rubbing out those lines that go into the shorts there. Making sure it all looks nice and neat. And now we just need to thicken up those lines that we've drawn already. Adding in Patrick's shorts. There we go. And if you like this sort of picture, then do subscribe to our channel, our Hoopla Kids Doodle channel, because we've got loads more characters that we draw together. And there we are, we're just thickening up those lines on the band of the shorts and the little legs themselves. Now we want to add a little bit more detail. So we add these sort of splodges. And a little belly button. There we go. And now we just have to colour him in, which is really good fun. I really hope you've enjoyed drawing Patrick with us. Today we are drawing the very beautiful Pepper Pig and it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to start with our fine lines to show us whereabouts we need to draw Pepper Pig. So we've got this first shape here with the snout there and then these two lines and one line at the bottom to make up the body of Peppa Pig. Then we've got two legs coming from the bottom with these very simple round shoe shapes. And then uh, from one side of Peppa Pig's body we have one arm and from the other side we have another arm. And now we just need to add that very important curly whirly tail and a simple little circle here and here, make up the eyes. Then we've got two lovely rounded ears. 
and a lovely round circle for the cheek, a smile and two dots for the nose. And that's it. We just have to colour her in. It's as simple as that. Today we are going to be drawing Pocoyo. And doesn't he look so, so sweet? Absolutely fantastic. Not too tricky. So you can really give this a try if you're starting off drawing today even. So we're going to start with some sketch lines on the paper and these will help us know where to put the thick lines which we're going to add in a minute. So we've got one, two, three straight-ish lines and then two circles. And now we are going to start adding the detail with that thick black pen. And now we've got the hat and the face there. And can you see how I'm following those lines? And sometimes I'm using them to show whereabouts I have to go up to. So there we go, I know where the arms go roughly. And I'm going to add some hands there, nice and simple doesn't have to be perfect and now we're going to add a foot there and the same thing on the other side and this is the detail on Pocoyo's shirt he's got that lovely little detail there and now we're going to add two eyes and we just colour those in black fantastic take your time coloring in is good fun there we go and if you want to change the shape a bit you can because it's all black so it's easy to change little nose and a lovely smile and now of course we get to rub out those initial sketch lines that helped us know where to draw and now I've decided to add a bit more definition to Pocoyo so he really stands out from the page. And this just takes a bit of patience because we're just going around the same line we've just drawn and making it a bit thicker. There we go. And of course this has been sped up so you can really take your time over this bit. Fantastic! And now we're going to colour him in this really bright blue colour. I really hope you've enjoyed drawing Pocoyo with us.
Hello everyone and welcome to Hoopla Kids Doodle. Today we're going to be drawing this mean red angry bird. Right, so you need a pen and a piece of paper. And we're going to start with this big circle shape there. Easy peasy. And then we're going to add the detail here of the feathery bits on the top of the bird. Now we're going to add the shape of the mouth. And there we go, there we have it, the beak. And now those angry eyebrows, very important. And underneath those, the, the eye there. And we'll just colour that middle bit in there black. And the same shape on the other side. Now we'll do the detail of the pupils, colour those in black. Now we're going to add the thickness of the eyebrows, really characteristic for the red angry bird. I'm making that a bit longer, can you see, than the actual head of the bird. And colouring it in, really thick eyebrows. And I've decided to really thicken up all of the lines to give it definition, which you might like to do as well. And this takes a bit of patience, colouring it in. There we go. Now we just add these simple shapes here. And colour those in black as well show the back of the bird and around the eyes and the beak and this is good because it gives you a chance to play with the shapes and now of course we're going to colour him in red and the beak bright yellow I hope you've enjoyed drawing this red angry bird with us at Hoopla Kids Doodle and we'll see you next time bye bye